Hello, hello, and welcome to the first cast. We are doing for the full game of Steel Division. And today we are doing a 1v1 on Colin Belez because people still really like this map. And so, on the right hand side in blue, playing this blue fall, we've got Domino at 101st Airborne Division, first time we're going to be seeing him. And on the left hand side in red, playing this red fall, we got Max Damage playing as the 17th SS Panzer Grenadier. And so, we are going to speed things up and get things going. So, 101st Airborne, very good early game, of course. A and, well, really, A phase is very powerful. But the longer you progress, they do lose a lot of momentum. And they don't have any heavy tanks. Rich max damage has plentiful amounts of. And in the full game, he has access to Tigers as well as Panthers. Which is quite a lot of uh, super heavies. I have to admit. So it's going to be down to Domino to doing some very aggressive early game maneuvers to try to hopefully get a plus two point advantage. And for max damage to hold. And off we go. So we don't have any Firefly for that, which is probably the best course of action. You don't really have to worry about tanks against 101st Airborne. The worst thing they can bring up in A phase is an M22 Locust. And a 222 can kill out. Which is not too bad. And there he's getting a few guys into the factory. He's out of 50 cow up top. As well as some other dudes. Got the Pathfinders which are a very good infantry unit. I mean 2 star Vedras and, and the uh, AT grenades make him quite powerful. We got some rifles and engineers. Engineers being a very good choice there. A 11 man flamethrower squad. Pretty scary stuff. And a 50 cal as well. Pound and array. You can never go too wrong with 50 cal. I believe he... Yeah, he should be able to kill the 2-5 run to SAS run. And it's not really attacking much up top. And down below is airborne rifles. I get pounded away by the 222. And he doesn't have any AT guns. He's really just relying on MGs and infantry for this in this So this 222 is going to have a fun time. And we've got 222... In the factory, give him suppressor fire. All the engineers are going to get into range and they're going to just slowly burn the panda grenadiers, but they managed to move just in time. Another airborne engineer is going to be flanking around. And Max Damage is doing a real good job considering he, he has he's at quite a bit of a disadvantage at this early stage. I mean, he's got some panda grenadiers moving through, going to be attacking the top. I mean, it's only an airborne rifle squad yeah, but 222 is going to provide good fire support. They were back here, once you get to the 50 count, it's going to be a pain in the butt. And that 57mm doesn't have any line of sight. He could probably knock out at 250-8. But he's just a uh, little bit back and on micro -ed. And that 50 cal is going to be holding that open ground. So we're all going to play here from max damage. Also taking the corridor down below. Helps out a ton. Managing to get into the harbour there. Yeah. And then he just needs to make good use of his light vehicles. I mean half tracks help out a lot. Just as long as you keep them at range. And as you see it's a uh, 8 or 2. I don't really know what to call this thing. I mean it doesn't have a nice simple name. Like grill, it's 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 a bloody code name. He, he's German and yeah, regulations. But anyway, yes, support vehicle. Going to be slowly suppressing the 50 cal. Going to stop it from firing. And there we go, M22 Locust being brought out. He only has the uh, standard runs, and well, the M22s are rather. Okay, light tank. It's very light, meaning that a 222 could kill it with only three frontal armor. But apart from that, it's very similar to a Stuart. So for, uh, so for the fact that he has raw machine gun as well. But yeah, it's, it's a decent little tank. I mean, nothing amazing, but you only are spending 70 points. And it should be enough to deal with the light armor over here. The airborne engineers try to do their best. But the problem is. Oh, there we go. Flame and half track, yeah. And the thing with the engineers, you, you do have to get them close to make them effective. 100 meters is a rather short range. I mean, if he could move them over here, he has to just barely be enough range to hit the Panzer Grenadiers. 50 car up top, completely stopping this whole attack. 
and he's going to be bringing up an AT gun. Is it going to be a... Yeah, he's just bringing up the light 37mm. Which is a little bit out of date, considering what the Germans can bring up. I mean, 37mm is effectively out of date as a proper anti-tank gun when America entered the war. But it's good at knocking out light armor, and that's what we really need. And Domino really could use to some recon down below to regain his corridor, because this is a lot of ground that could be easily taken. And then it's real good play here, max damage. As once he gets into B phase, he is going to be able to bring up that power for and Tiger tanks. And when they come onto the field, it's going to be very hard for Domino to deal with him. So Domino is starting to make some progress into the factory. There you go, rifles knocking out half track of their rocket launchers. And I feel like he's just going to need some more rifles to help clear this out. The Locust providing good fire support. 222 getting knocked out. Yeah, is he in range? Oh, no, he's not. But Locust forced to retreat. And these guys are separated by a hedgerow and bringing up some pathfinders. Ruler 222 being range of a. Probably in range of an anti tank grenade. And finally, some artillery for the middle. So Domino's starting to take back the ground. We still another three minutes or B phase, so he still has some advantage. But once you get into B, you know, max damage is going to be taking point advantage. But it's a rather costly flight for that factory area. Took Domino a lot of time, but he almost had it under control. Almost has it under control. Yeah, move up the rifles to deal with the Panzergrens. In a close range, the rifles aren't going to win. As they do have semi automatic weaponry. The other Panzergrens are better at long range due to the fact they have two machine guns. Mortar half track up top. Just the light one. And the 75mm howitzer for the mid. The Pathfinders, I just managed to knock out 222, but he's still got Panzer Grenadiers and that recon unit, yeah. I feel like he's going to need to get some good artillery support to help clear up that canal, and he's moving recon and a bazooka team along the bottom of the factory. There we go, 50 counter. Real good position there. Yeah, a lot of good angles of fire to take advantage of its long range machine gun. And we're all very so close to phase B. And we just got a defensive line here from Domino with some AT guns and machine guns. Quite a few AT guns, actually. And P 50 run Mustang flying around, keeping the skies clear. And he did turn off auto evac, which is a rather smart move. I mean, it's ideally you want to have auto evac off, but I'm a lazy bastard. I just keep it on. There we go, pounding the right, the Pantagrens down below. And Domino, I, he needs to really start attacking somewhere else. Probably up top, this could be a good spot if he gets some fire support and is that. Okay, so this is our first hero unit, it's uh, Ritman's Tiger Tank. If you ever played that Company of Heroes expansion pack, it's the same dude. But yeah, Tiger, um, it's the first time we're going to be seeing it. It's worse than the Panther statistically. It doesn't have as good as a gun. It's less armored. And I believe it's... I think at the same speed. And Panther's probably slightly faster. But a Tiger does have an extra machine gun. And it has better HE power. And also two cell veterans. See? And a very nice camouflage pattern. But that's going to be enough to break through up top. The 37 mils cannot kill the Tiger. The 57mm may be able to if he gets a good side shot or closes in the range, but that's going to be a rather tough nut to crack. And this is what I mean, once we get into that B phase, Domino loses a lot of his effectiveness. And he didn't manage to get even a point advantage during that A phase, which is going to hinder him quite a lot. He's going to have to take advantage of air support, he's got the B-26 Marauder. Doing its thing. But these is going to be forced to retreat. 
Alright, the 37 millimeter keeps him at bay. There we go. He has the tiger tank moving up. He's able to get some infantry and recon in front because you never know what he can run into. Especially if it's such an expensive unit, 240 points. There we go, got a Fokker Wolf and a P51 D Mustang. Fokker Wolf should be able to get the kill as it does have AA support. And he forgets to evac the Mustang. That's what I mean about the risk of having auto evac off. So the Fokker Wolf is just going to intercept and shoot it down. Maybe shoot it down. And finally, we got the attack on the canal. Or the choke point, I should really say. And it's still not enough. The Locust does not have good fire support. It has one HE cannon and then a single machine gun. Which isn't enough to round out Panzer Grenadiers. You need some more Daka Daka. I'm guessing that his main threat is up top with that Tiger tank moving through. And that is... It's a pretty cool Tiger. And there's a Veteran Seed bonus too. That's going to help out a ton. And the only thing Domino could bring up in ground game that could kill that tiger is M10 Wolverines. But you can't get M10 Wolverines till C phase. So he's kind of shit out of luck. Unless you can artillery it, get a good rocket launcher strike or bazooka strike. The tiger tank is going to have to get quite a bit closer. And you've already got Panzer Grenadiers and Pioneers moving up. And uh, yeah. Domino's best bet is probably just try to attack down below, try to open up a new front line. There you go, M8 Greyhound's gonna bring the extra fire support. Probably some more infantry as well to try to take his whole bottom area. Because his top is just absolutely bugging. And I don't think a locust is gonna be enough to deal with a tiger here, buddy. Not one bit. There you go, interception on the Fokker Wolf, I believe, by two P51 D Mustangs. I mean, I was a fucker off. Well, I might have been an Ezra Smith. I don't know, it's a German plane. And this is just a real domino effect, you could say. You know, a lot of German infantry, that one Tiger tank, and a lot more reinforcements. He's. Gonna be encompassing the top hand side of this map. We got some Sherman DDs. Or a Sherman DD and another Locust. And. Well, Sherman's gonna help a ton of enemy fire support. But once again, it comes down to a Tiger. Yo, he does have it stunned. And keeping it stunned is gonna be the name of the game here. Oh, Mustang. Oh, no. He's gonna get intercepted by that Messerschmitt. And he needs to start getting some anti aircraft guns out. Problem with the 101st Airborne is that you don't get many. Anti-aircraft guns. But still, you, you always need anti-aircraft guns. Because you, do, you, do, you don't want planes flying around really nearly. And it helps out a ton when trying to... When fighting outnumbered against enemy planes. And this Locust is making some damn good progress here. Knocking out a few half-tracks and just keeping the infantry generally suppressed. Ritman's Tiger forced him to move up, but it's out of ammo. That is very good. Very good for Domino. Gonna be forcing max damage to resupply that Tiger. They go intercept on the Messerschmitt. The Mustang is one star veteran C2, so it's gonna help out quite a bit. But it's, yeah, they're just cycling around. Yeah, the Messerschmitt can outstrafe him. There we go, getting some good hits here. He's going to need a second plane to help with this engagement. And I think, yeah, Max Damage is going to be bringing out that second plane. And once I mean, if he had an AA unit, this had been cut and dry up. Messerschmitt would have been dead. There we go, second P51 D Mustang now. It's a two on two. A third run, and it says about a numbers game. But he's going to be dropping his bombs first, and then coming in to help. And another Messerschmitt, Jesus Christ, this is just an escalation of airplanes. And 
There you go, one P for the wrong is forced to retreat. Mezzo Smith running out of fuel. And he does manage to shoot it down. And this is sort of a real good example of why you want anti aircraft guns. You, you don't want this happening to you. The Mustang going in. Oh, he loses the second one, too. The thing is, the Messerschmitts have the better agility rating. The Mustangs have real good armaments, but in just a circle fight like this, they're not going to win. They need the AA to stun up the Messerschmitts so he can get the finish and blow, but enough on that, I think. Down below, <sighs> Domino really could take quite a good advantage of this opening on the flank. I understand it's rather stressful trying to completely defend this top hand side from the pounds going to do spam and the iron C phase now. And the sermon just getting knocked out really nearly. That tiger tank does not care. And there's not much here to uh, stop max damage. He's already taking that point of advantage. And the middle and bottom hand side of the map are rather clear. Got rubber in being brought up. And I believe a flak 88. That should be a flak 88. Yes, it is. And that's the, type of, that's the type of NTA that he needs. And if he positions it over here, he's going to be able to shoot stuff as they come out of spawn, which is rather, rather cheeky. But what Domino needs is the yeah, Wolverine. I mean, it's going to be a tough fight because that is a heavily vetted tiger. And there we go. Finally, the attack down below working. But uh, yeah, Locust just can pack gunned immediately. And same with the Greyhound. And still, that yeah, Grenadier Squad is alive. And that's going to be forcing the engineers to hold back. He's got some strafing runs there for the Messerschmitt. And up top. There you go. 37mm knocking out a support vehicle. But once again, it gets blown up because Tiger. And we got a Panzer IV G or H down below, which is going to make any attack on his choke point very hard unless. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! Is he going to do it? Oh! Oh my god, he missed like thrice. I think almost three times. Ah, oh, that's, that's bad luck. That was a good position there, but. Oh, bad luck. And then Max Damage making his ring down below. As the uh, airborne engineers and rifles are cornered in. And yeah, at this point, Max, Max Damage is going to be taking a victory unless something crazy can happen. We've got a Wolverine down below. And I think at this point, Domino just realized. Yes, he just needs to try to take his part of the map now. Oh, he, he, he loses the M10 to the Panzer IV. Ah, that's, that's not good. And we've got an air fight over here. Once again, AA would help. He manages to shoot down run. The second focus will force him to retreat. And is he going to... Ah, he does not kill it on a retreat, Joe. And got a rest starting to pound in that factory. And the problem for Domino is that once you capture the factory, it's kind of hard to take advantage of it. Uh, attacking over here is rather open and exposed. All you have to do is bring out a few machine gun 42s and you got an effect of no man's land. And all we got... And on 22, just barely holding the spawn, forcing those half tracks to retreat. And then just gonna hide in the corner, like a total war game. I mean, we've all done it. We played Mastodon. You bring out the pikemen, you hug the rule, and just wait for him to run into your rule of spikes. I got some rifles and whatnot over here now, which is gonna help out. And if he can knock out Panzer IV once again with a bazooka. That's going to be ideal, but I highly doubt that unless he's going to be very cocky. I also have the recon dude here as well. Now we go Wolverine. Just kill it. I want just just kill the Panzer IV. Nope, that's a miss. 
rifles are pinned down, but the Panzer IV is also rather pinned down. And he, he does have range advantage. Oh. Is he, are you going to shoot? Can you shoot it? He has a line of sight, but... Oh. I mean... Is that a bug? Because he, he was looking right at it. There's no need to align the gun. Huh. Yeah, that is strange. Anyway, he's going to be getting a Sherman out. Rifles forced to retreat and... Yeah, this is, this is going to be a GG to max damage. And he starts and pierces his ray through the center now. There's some light vehicles. The M32 Locust getting auto cannon chair. Yeah. There we go, gets the kill. Another factory is completely surrounded. And fine gunning artillery. Yeah, it's, it's not good. That's not good at all. There you go. Got the link up here. Yeah. And that would be a good game. Max damage taking the victory. Uh, yeah, 1,000 point kill advantage, which I, I, I guess is kind of standard, you know. We'll have to see. And this was uploaded by Domino. Seeing that, uh, there we go. Once again, someone who uploads in the match they lost. I always respect that. But essentially, Domino just... He could not get that early game map advantage, and it's very important to do that as the airborne deck. I mean, probably some more locusts spread around, maybe not focusing so much on the factory, but more on the flanks and trying to defend those flanks would have gone better. Because, well, on one hand, yes, once you bring up a Tiger and Panther as 101st, it's hard to deal with it unless you can get some good ambush position. But your goal is to make it so they can't afford to buy a Tiger or Panther. I believe for max damage, if you start at zero points at the start of B phase, it would take him three minutes to save up for that Tiger. No, I think two minutes, actually. But anyway, you just want to keep the pressure on so they can't afford it. Because as you see, just one Michael Rickman can really ruin your day. So, anyway, we're going to end off at this. Uh, yeah, uh, it's been another Angry Cars. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as usual, please just take it easy.